Hi, I'm Aisha. You are watching Educational Hub. Research is a careful consideration of the studies carried out in relation to specific issues or research problems through scientific methods. Research is a systematic inquiry to describe, explain, predict and control the observed phenomenon. According to American sociologist Earl Robert Babby, it's inductive and deductive method. 2. What is research design? Research design is a framework for research methods and techniques selected by researchers to carry out studies. This approach allows researchers to develop research methods that are suitable for the subject matter, which will enable them to carry out their studies successfully. A research design is a strategy for answering your research question using empirical data. Creating a research design means making decisions about 1. Your overall research objectives and approach. 2. Whether you'll rely on primary research or secondary research. 3. Your sampling methods or criteria for selecting subjects. 4. Your data collection methods. 5. The procedures you'll follow to collect data. 6. Your data analysis methods. Research design refers to the overall plan or structure that guides the process of conducting research. It outlines the framework and methodology for collecting, analyzing, and interpreting data in a systematic and organized way. A well-thought-out research design is crucial for ensuring that a research study is conducted effectively, with clear objectives and reliable results. The components of a research design typically include the following elements. 1. Research objectives and questions. The research design begins with a clear statement of the research objectives or goals. What is the purpose of the study? And what questions or hypotheses is it seeking to answer? Defining the objectives is a fundamental step in research design. 2. Research type. Research can take various forms, including exploratory, descriptive, explanatory, and experimental. The research design should specify the type of research being conducted, which informs the data collection methods and analysis techniques. 3. Data sources. Research designs outline where and how data will be collected. This includes specifying whether data will be gathered through primary sources, for example, surveys, interviews, observations, or secondary sources, for example, existing data sets, literature reviews. 4. Method. If applicable, the research design includes details about the sampling method used to select the participants or data points. This encompasses decisions about the sampling size, procedure, and representativeness of the sample. 5. Collection techniques. The design specifies the methods and tools for data collection, such as surveys, interviews, experiments, questionnaires, observations, or content analysis. It also includes details on how data will be recorded and managed. 6. And measurements. Research designs define the key variables under investigation and describe how they will be measured or operationalized. This includes selecting appropriate scales, instruments, or metrics. 7. Design, if applicable, in experimental research. The design includes the experimental conditions, groups, and treatments. It also outlines how randomization, control groups, and independent, dependent variables will be managed. 8. Analysis Plan. The design outlines the plan for data analysis, including statistical techniques, software tools, and procedures for testing hypotheses or examining relationships between variables. 9. A research design often includes a timeline or schedule that outlines the duration of the study including data collection, analysis, and reporting phases. 10. Ethical considerations. Research ethics are an integral part of research design. It should address issues related to informed consent, privacy, confidentiality, and the ethical treatment of participants. 11. Budget and resources. Depending on the scope of the research, the design may include a budget and resource allocation plan specifying the funds, personnel, equipment, and facilities required. 12. Limitations. 
Research designs should acknowledge potential limitations and constraints of the study, including any biases, constraints on data collection, or other factors that might affect the validity and generalizability of results. 13. Report structure. Finally, the design may outline the structure and format of the research report or presentation, including sections, headings, and the intended audience. A well-constructed research design is essential for ensuring that research objectives are met, data is collected accurately, and results are valid and reliable. It serves as a blueprint for the research process, guiding researchers through each stage of their investigatio. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe my channel for more informative videos.